photoreceptors are the cells in retina that respond to light. Rods are the predominant photoreceptors overall. Cones are sparse in comparison to rods except in the fovea of the macula, where they are more numerous. The rods and cones contain the photopigment, which in rods is termed as the rhodopsin, and in cones it is termed as the photopsin. Rhodopsin is a combination of the proteins scotopsin and retinal. When light energy meets the rhodopsin, it causes a conformation change in the retinal leading in the active forms of rhodopsin. The activated rhodopsin then activates a G protein called as the transducin. Transducin goes on to activate many more molecules of phosphodiesterase in a process of amplification. Retinal neurons produce graded potentials to be transmitted rapidly through the visual pathway. This mechanism is achieved due to the existence of cyclic GMP-gated sodium channels which under resting dark conditions are opened to the presence of cyclic GMP. This means that the resting phosphoreceptor cell is partially depolarized and releasing the neurotransmitters, for example, the glutamate. The activation of phosphodiesterase results in cyclic GMP being converted to GMP and therefore the cyclic GMP gated sodium channels are closed. The cell becomes hyperpolarized and there is a reduction in the release of photoreceptors neurotransmitters. This reduction in the neurotransmitter release leads to responses by the other retinal neurons which ultimately leads to an action potential generated by the ganglion cells. An important feature of rods and cones is the capacity for light and dark adaptation. This is a process whereby if the person is exposed to light for an extended period, much of the photopigments are reduced and some retina will be converted back to the vitamin A for the storage in the pigmented epithelium. Therefore, the sensitivity of photoreceptors is reduced and this process is called as the light adaptation. The opposite also occurs and is termed as the dark adaptation. Cones adapt much faster than the rods. However, rods have a much greater capacity for alterations in sensitivity. Watch the detailed lecture on scaria.com physiology course. That's a two minutes. See you in the next video.